Well, for us, this is the border story of the year. The Trump administration and law enforcement's smashing of the MS-13 gang, an historic takedown. Just last week, nearly 100 MS-13 gang members and associates indicted in the largest takedown in New York State. It happened out in Suffolk County on Long Island. Let's bring in National Border Patrol Council President Brandon Judd. Brandon, your reaction. Uh, President Trump has taken the fight directly to transnational organizations. MS-13 is a huge organization that comes into the United States and causes uh, complete chaos and disrupts uh, a lot of lives. Um, they're a very dangerous organization, and he's, he's gone after that organization, not just individuals, but complete organizations, something that we just haven't seen in, in past administrations. Yeah, remember the president at his State of the Union address had angel families who were attacked by MS-13. We had 2,000 and MS-13 gang members uh, arrested in the last fiscal year. The president is delivering. We're showing the Angel families on camera right now, Brandon. Your reaction? Uh, this is this is exactly what the American public wanted to see back in 2016 when they elected him. They didn't want to see a normal politician. They wanted to see somebody who was willing to think outside of the box, and that's what President Trump has done. He understands that a, a big portion of border security is the interior enforcement. You can't secure the border if you don't have proper interior enforcement. And those angel families, uh, because of what has happened, he is going after those individuals that create the havoc that is here in the United States. And Again, we law, from a law enforcement perspective, you have to be thankful for what he's been doing. Yeah, final word, it's murder. It's also drug trafficking, cocaine and fentanyl. Final quick word, Brandon. Uh, the walls will help uh, control okay. all of those fentanyl and, and all of those illegal drugs. Brandon, great to see you. Come back soon. Thank you for your service to our country.